I've been told that that I'm quite witty, and I think that Wanda is quite witty, and I wouldn't want to disappoint those people that have said that I'm witty. So, Ola, fix your face, seriously. Who said that? Who said you were witty? Um, lots of people have told me that I'm witty, okay? okay? Lots of people have told me I'm witty. The black hair and beauty industry generates upwards of five billion pounds for the UK economy in a year. Now, everyone is trying to scramble for a piece of the black pound, usually without involving any black people, of course. <laughs> With every character I have, I bring in the love and the heart of the character. So I wanted to not just show one side of Claudia, which is the fun side, which is a bit of a villain. She's, you know, she's out to get what she wants. But I also wanted to bring, there's reasons behind that. So I wanted to bring a lot of the love, the love she has for her family. She will fight for her family. She will die for her family. So that's what I wanted to bring into the character. And your father told me, with me, you can be somebody. He was true to his word. We are going to celebrate his life and honor everything he did to raise this family up. And I'm not here for any of this fighting, none of it. I think that honestly, her story is so much like my own with her being um, born in London, moving to America, moving back to London, being Nigerian, being Yoruba. I just think that like, there's so many elements about her that I get and I feel seen by this character to be honest. And so for me, I just feel like I'm playing a lot of like myself and a lot of the people I know to be honest. Stephen Richards, my father, built something very special here. And my father put me in charge because he believed I'm the best person to run this place. If you trusted him, then you have to trust me. Very much a lot of the, the same variables. I'm also Nigerian with British, uh, born and bred with Nigerian heritage, um, very connected to my Yoruba culture. But I think one of the major things for me that's quite amazing about getting to play that character or something that I'm excited to bring to it is the queer aspect of it. It's rare, but it's something I think that's happening more frequently where queer people are being given the space in Hollywood to play queer characters. You know, I do believe we can arrive at a time and a space and a day where people can do anything in a way, of course, within certain parameters, but it's nice for queer people to be given the space and the opportunity to play queer roles and to bring certain experiences to the table. Simon, like myself, is in a relationship and, and non-toxic and also able to express themselves in vulnerable moments and able to connect with their parents and that Yoruba thing. And yeah, I got to tap into a lot of parts of myself and bring some truth which I think is what acting is. It's it's always coming from a place of truth, and that was nice, nice to do. Hmm. So what do we do about our inheritance? Um, I will set a meeting with Gideon, and we'll figure out how to get rid of it. So I'll back to Which, uh, you know, I always wanted to be an heiress girl. Can you see it? <laughs> <laughs> I sort of like read it and read her as this very, you know, successful, independent woman who has built this business in her own right, but has a lot of insecurities and vulnerabilities. And I think that, you know, there's a lot that I can share with Alicia in that way that, you know, I think sometimes I can come across as really confident and really sort of like know what I'm doing and, you know, very independent, but actually deep down, there are, you know, moments where I'm like sort of like panicking or, you know, a bit worried or a bit unsure about stuff and don't have as much confidence. And I, and I, I would like to think I brought that vulnerability to Alicia that we sort of like see in the series. You know, daddy issues feel even more shit. Dad's dead. He was no father of the year. But you know that. Uh-uh. I'm opening another bottle. <laughs> oh, bringing me down. <laughs> there is a vulnerability about Gus that I think I was able to connect with. A man who seems to have everything 
in some sense going for him um there is something that he really cares about and he allows himself to feel it and let that come through gus is not a guy that that's um uh, always putting up a front you know if he's feeling a certain kind of way he'll let it show i think that vulnerability was a great thing to see this is madness how would he do this I was supposed to take over. Gus, it's... And to top it off, the feds wrote to me today. Officer acted in accordance with force policy. How many times have I been pulled over? The producers, Abby, they saw something in me and they thought that I could embody one day. And I'm really, really glad that they did because I've had so much fun playing her. It's the most fun I've had playing a character. I feel like Wanda is a, is a daddy's girl and I would say I'm, I'm a daddy's girl as well. And she also has a lot of, what do I say? I've been told that, that I'm quite witty and I think that Wanda is quite witty and I wouldn't want to disappoint those people that have said that I'm witty. So, Ola, fix your face, seriously. Who said that? Who said you were witty? Yeah. Lots of people have told me that I'm witty, okay? okay? Lots of people have told me I'm witty. Many, many people. Are you taking the pit? Better check in. I asked for party jollof rice. <laughs> Who asked for carrots in the jollof? Did, do you see any Ghanaians here? This is a Nigerian house. Oh my God, everything's a mess. Shouting at them won't help. Well, you know, you could actually do something to help. I think riches is important for this time because it shows a black family, an affluent black family in the UK, which we hardly ever see. It's an intelligent family. Everybody looks fabulous. And um, just to see the side of it where they're just like fighting for what they believe is right on that certain level of excellence. We don't often see that. Bridges is um, it's aspirational. It's addictive storytelling. You want to know what happens next. Um, it doesn't feel like something that I've seen. Um, a lot on TV and, and certainly not on, on British TV. And I think that a lot of people will be seeing something new and perhaps more importantly, a lot of people will feel seen watching this show. I think, you know, it, it's a story that, you know, needs to be told. There's so much layers to it. There's so many hidden gems and secrets. It's it, intriguing. I remember reading the script for the first time and I read it until like 3 a.m. in the morning because I was literally reading like episode after episode because it was so good. Which is not just important for this time. I think I think it's going to be important for, for times to come. I think it's important for times that have passed as well. I think um, especially after lockdown, you in lockdown, you were kind of forced to be at home and experience your home. Growing up in London, I love how London looks in this. I love how my hometown looks in this. It, it's made me appreciate here a lot more. Okay, let's start with the lead, Deborah. She is very stylish. She's very strong. She's a brilliant actress. So she was definitely right for the role of Nina. She commands a space. I think Deborah is absolutely perfect to play Nina because there's something very powerful about Nina in a very subtle way. It's not very overt. She literally just has to step into a room and you know Nina Richards has arrived. And I think Alicia sees Nina as a role model, someone who she can really aspire to be like. And I want to be like Deborah when I grow up. That's what I want. That's who I want to be. Yinka is that person that if in this moment she would like to be included, she'll say, what would she say, Deb? She'll be like, where you not going? I want to... What are we talking about? What are we, what are we talking about? <laughs> what are you saying? Where are we going? <laughs> you know where you stand with Inka, and I and I want to say similarly with her character Alicia. You know where you stand with her. You know what she believes in, what she's trying to do. She's very honest. What I love about her character and her portrayal of her character is that she says a lot of things that we don't give ourselves permission to say. I mean, in real life and and, and on screen, when she's feeling insecure, when she's, you know, over it, when she wants to go off on her own, when she wants to be included, she's so just honest. She's very fun. She's very lovely. I thought Ade was going to be my little sister in the show because, um, Addie can be very mature and she is very mature, 
but um, Addy can also be um, very child, I'm sorry, youthful. Um, <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> very, very youthful. <laughs> you know, similar to what Ola said, I think me and Neka have really, really become sisters. What was it the other day? There's a video of us actually like fighting each other over taking photos. We literally were like pushing each other to get a photo with, funny enough, CJ. Um, <laughs> but I think why Neka is like so perfect for Wanda and what is so nice to see Wanda starts out to be this one type of woman who you know she knows she comes from privilege she knows she has the success of her family business behind her she's quite similar to Alicia in the fact that yes she can put a persona up and she walks around like she knows everything which she does but there's a side of her that you see that you sort of like have a really really soft spot for her. Ola's got that sort of like brotherly like caring like protective sort of energy. So I feel like he's like that as Gus and he's like that as as a person. Then we've got um, Simon. He's so funny. It was a great part for him to play, to play the brother. They kind of look alike as well. They have really good chemistry together on and off the screen. I feel like Manny is just such... <laughs> He's such a ball of energy. And I just love how he really makes the, the character his own and he's not afraid to try different things. Like he decided that maybe they, they would speak Yoruba and he had a conversation with Abby about that and he would just bring it out like in a scene. He might not necessarily say he's going to do it. So you didn't know like what he was going to do, which made you more alive and it felt more electric. He was just so much fun to, to act with and to and to be around. I wish I had more scenes with him actually. The thing about Neka is, Neka is like the sweetest, loveliest person you will meet. I think Wanda's maybe been dealt some bad hands, as, as you, you, you will get to see in the show. Neka was able to find the truth behind why she is the way she is. You see her in the first episode, very passionate about the way she'd like her father's funeral to be taken care of because she loves him so much. And to, you know, somebody who isn't as savvy on television or character development, you might think, oh, she's a bit, she's not, you know, the, the nicest person, but I think it must be really hard to lose your father and, and then to have to plan his funeral and be so young. Yeah, I think what I love about Wanda and what I love about her portrayal, I feel like she's fighting to be seen because I think sometimes when people are the youngest of a family, of a, such a powerful family, everyone takes care of the youngest and wants to like, and makes decisions for the youngest. But like, who actually sees the youngest? Who actually like gets to know them as a person and like says, you can be this person, you can go off and do your own thing or whatever. And I think she's also going on a journey very similar to Nina's where she's like finding out who she actually is. I love the actresses and the actor who plays my son and daughters because I feel like we kind of all kind of look alike. And also um, everybody's just totally up for, you know, exploring their character, pushing against all the fun bits. Um, I feel like this is brilliant. Sarah can actually do anything, I think, <laughs> to be honest. I think that Sarah, her career has shown that she can play so many different um, characters, to be honest. And I think that that comes from a place of her being so open and vulnerable and empathetic and understanding to different types of people. The way that I saw her play Claudia, she played her like with such a just a badass energy, just so like fabulous. But she also played her with this interesting layer of vulnerability as well, where you kind of see her working desperately to secure herself. Yeah, she's just amazing. I can go on and on about my best friend, but you know. She, she honestly brings this layer of vulnerability to Claudia. I'm not sure I completely read that on the page when I initially read the script, but Sarah gives her such depth and, and, and you start to think, there is a whole part of Claudia's life that we haven't seen. We, she, she mentions, you know, the things she's given up to be with Stephen. It's been a sacrifice and a journey for Claudia. And I wasn't fully aware until I got to watch these Sarah Niles do her thing. It, it was it was quite incredible. Getting to work with Sarah is, I don't have one word for it. The first rehearsal we all had together. I think from leaving that room on that first day, we knew that we had something good on our hands. We laughed a lot. I think that's incredibly important. Nobody's um, trailer was their own. Nobody's room was their own. Like we all <laughs> went, 
messed up Ade's. Was it Ade's or Necker's? Messed up Ade's um, uh, dressing room one time. It was mine. It was Necker's. I was going to say it was Necker's. It weren't mine. It was Necker's. Yeah, Necker, Necker messed up her own, but we helped her <laughs> mess up even more. It was just really fun working with people. Like directors were fun. Having Abby on set sometimes as well was super fun. Everything was, it was fun. I think I've often played roles where they're quite strong. Um, they're either in um, positions of extreme power, but they're usually <laughs> they're usually very tidy characters. Whereas I feel like Claudia's messy. Uh, she's sexy. She's messy. She's not afraid to you know have a loose tongue, and um, she's fun. She's the one you want to you want to see that wants to enter into a space, and you just want to see her let rip. And I feel like we should be allowed, especially as black women, to play all those kind of roles, to really um, be expansive in our in our emotions, in our freedom. And I feel like that's why I feel like Claudia is completely different. Um, I try to source all the aunties, all the women that I love, um, who are strong, <laughs> and bring it into Claudia. I feel like she will burn bridges. <laughs> Regardless, uh, she will just keep, you know, pioneering and pushing forward. Uh, if it doesn't, it doesn't work for her. If it doesn't fit. That's it. She's discarded it. And I think she's really like with the the fall of Stephen and just trying to, she's trying to run with it and see how far she can go. Um, she's got great values. Like within the mesh, she's got values like family first. She believes in that. She's, you know, there's no way she wants her family not to get what they deserve. And I feel like, um, like in relation to other past characters I've played, and often when we see black women, they're very there's a lot of dignity. They're very um, they're very strong, but they're very organised in their strength. Even when um, something is suffering, you know, if a family member has passed away or you know has been murdered, it's always got to be with dignity and strength. And I think um, it's important for us to see women who um, have agency. Like she's, you know. <laughs> She's not afraid to use her sexual power to get what she wants. She might make mistakes and go along and backtrack, but she'll just keep trying to get through it and survive. I think she's a survivor. She does often make mistakes. And we need to see that. We need to see the human side. But that mess is a humanity about her, which is really rich. Thanks for watching. Riches arrives December 2nd on Prime Video. You don't want to miss this. See you later. We have to try everything. Right? Drink. Hello. I don't care about the show. I just want a good blooper reel. I want to learn <laughs> science. <laughs> you guys are going to make me look like I'm in the show, right? You're going to put in the effects. Replace the green. I don't want to look like an asshole here. Sorry. <laughs>